what you'll need is a two and a half millimeter crochet hook a pair of scissors and three different colors of yarn i'm using three balls of this color and then three balls of that color and then i've got two balls of this um but i don't think i'll use all of it i've just got um enough because i'd rather be safe than sorry so um let's get started So I'm going to start with the blue yarn. So I'm going to start with a slip knot and then um, I'm going to make a chain of four. So one, two, three, four. I'm going to join the chain by making a slip stitch in the first chain that we did. So what you're going to do is put your needle onto the first stitch, yarn around your needle on the other side and pull through the stitch. So you have two loops and then you just pull through again. So you have one loop. So I don't know if you can see that little hole there we're going to be working into. So we're going to chain two. So this is for row one. So chain two. Then we're going to do two double crochets. And then we're going to chain two. This is going to form the square bit. So then we're going to do three double crochets. Oh wait, before I start with the next three double crochets, the chain two counts as a double crochet. So that's why we've only got, we only did two double crochets, but we've actually got three. So I'm gonna do three double crochets now after that chain two. So Now we're going to chain two again and we're going to do three double crochets. Then I'm going to chain two again. Then I'm going to do two double, three double crochets again. And then I'm going to chain two and join the row with a heart with a slip stitch. So we're going to go into the second chain of that chain two we did in the beginning of the row and we're going to join it with a slip stitch so through the stitch yarn around and then just pull through both stitches so here's our little square now we're going to start row two so we're going to chain two then i'm not going to go into that gap i'm going to go into that gap with three three double crochets one two three then we're going to chain two and do three double crochets again so this is the pattern for corners in the corners you're going to be doing three double crochets chain two and three double crochets again so now we're going to go into the next corner. We're going to do three, three double crochets. We're going to chain two and do three double crochets again. And we're going to go into the next corner. We go three double crochets.
chain two and do three double crochets again. Now we're going to go into that last corner. We're going to go three double crochets. We're going to chain two and do two double crochets. And I'll show you why we're only doing two instead of three is because we've already made this chain at the beginning of the row. So instead of making another double crochet, we're just going to join the row with a slip knot. So we're going to go into that second chain. You see, that's the first one, that's the second one. And we're just going to put the needle through the stitch, pull through, and then pull through again. So that's our two rows. And we're gonna, I'm gonna cut the yarn. And then I'm gonna take the pink yarn, or orange, orangey pink, and do a slip knot. And then we're gonna start row three. So I'm just gonna put my needle through the slip knot and then pull the slip knot through the the like stitch from the previous round. Now I'm going to chain, wait, sorry, I'm just going to get, or oh, trying to get the strings to the left hand side of my work. So I'm going to chain two and we're going to go three double crochets in this gap. Well, the reason why we're doing three is because it's not a corner. So in the corners, we'll be doing the same pattern as the previous row. And then when it isn't a corner, we do three double crochets. So, so I only did two double crochets because I've just done the chain. The chain two. So then now we're going to go into the corner and I'm going to do three double crochets. Then I'm going to chain two and do three double crochets again. Then I'm going to only do three double crochets in this gap because it's not a corner. Then we're going to go three double crochets in this corner, chain two, and then three double crochets again. And then three double crochets in that gap, and then you do the same thing in each corner. So I'll meet you again when I've finished this row. So I'm doing my last three double crochets in the corner. And then I'm going to join the row with a slip stitch into that chain two we did. And then that's the end of the third row. So we're going to start the fourth row. So chain two. Now I'll do two double crochets in that gap. And then three double crochets in that gap. And then three double crochets. Chain two. And then three double crochets again because it's a corner. So we making it square by doing that three double crochets, chain two, and then three double crochets again. Now, because this is not a corner, we do our three double crochets. So 
So I will meet you again once I finish the row. So we're going to join the fourth row by going into the chain that we did at the beginning of the row and we're going to join with a slip knot. Then I'm going to cut the yarn and put the yarn around the needle and pull it through and give it a tug and then we finish the square. And then this is the other combination that I that I'm using. So I'm gonna use I'm gonna alternate between these two squares. Um, yeah. Now I'm gonna do half a square because you'll need those for the side of the dress. So I'm gonna start with a slip knot. I'm going to make a chain of four. Then go into the first stitch and join with a slip knot. Then I'm going to chain two and do three double cro two double crochets. And I'm going to chain two and I'm going to do three double crochets. And then I'm going to chain two again and do three double crochets then I'm gonna chain two one two I'm gonna flip my work around and then I'm gonna do three double crochets into this corner chain two and do three double crochets into that gap again into the same gap then I'm going to do three double crochets chain two and do three double crochets in this corner again chain two do three Double crochets. Then I'm going to do one double crochet in that end stitch. And then I'm going to change color. Then I'm going to take the blue. And make a slip knot. And pull the slip knot through the stitch, tighten it, chain two. And then I'm gonna flip my work around and I'm gonna do two double crochets in that gap. Then I'm going to do three double crochets in the corner and then chain two and do three double crochets again.
And I'm gonna do three double crochets in that gap. And I'll do the corner thing and I'll meet you when I'm there. So now I finished the corner, I'm gonna do three double crochets in this gap. I'm gonna chain two, flip my work around and do three double crochets in that gap. Just how you do the normal squares. When it's not the corner, you do three double crochets. When it's the corner, you do three double crochets, chain two, and then three double crochets again. So I'll see you when I'm finished this row. So I'm just going to finish off by doing one double crochet in that end stitch. And then I'm going to cut off the yarn and put the, the yarn over my needle and pull it through the stitch and then tug on it to make it tight. So once you have made all your squares, um, but when I mean all your squares, this is what I've kind of drawn up. So you need 31 of these squares and then 31 of these squares. And then you need four of this. And then, I don't know where the other one, four of that. So that's kind of the um, what you need. And then if you're wondering about those half ones, they are made to put on the, well, make the dress smaller at the top. So I'll show you when we sew them together. But now that you've made all your squares, we can start with the cup, well, the cups. Um, so let's get onto that. So for the cup, we're gonna start with a slip knot then I'm gonna chain four and then I'm gonna join the chain by going into the first stitch with a slip stitch then we're gonna chain two and make three double crochets so one well this chain two counts as one double crochet so that's two three then I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to make six double crochets three Six. Then I'm going to chain one and make six double crochets again. Two, one, two, three, four, five. Of six, then we're going to chain one and join the row with a slip stitch. So now we're going to cut the yarn and we're going to change colors. So I'm going to start row two by doing a slip knot then I'm gonna pull the slip knot through the stitch 
I'm gonna chain two. Oh. Chain two. Then I'm gonna do three, uh, two. Well, I'm gonna turn my work around. So we're not gonna work that way around. We're gonna flip the work around. And I'm gonna do two double crochets in this stitch. And I'm only doing two because this chain counts as a double crochet. So then I'm gonna count three stitches, one, two, three. And then I'm gonna do three double crochets in that stitch. One, two, three. Then you skip one, two, three, and you can see we've chained one there. So now we're gonna do five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five then we're going to chain one and do five more double crochets in that stitch one two three four five then you go skip Three stitches, one, two, three, and do three double crochet in that stitch. Then we skip three stitches again, one, two, three, and we do three double crochet in this stitch well gap now we're going to change colors chain two flip your work around and then i'm going to do three double crochets in that stitch We're going to do three double crochets in this. And now you can see where we've done our increase. So here's one cluster of five double crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to go, we're going to skip two. And we're going to do, we're going to break the five up and we're going to do three double crochet. Then there's going to be three stitches left and we're going to do five double crochet now. One, two, three, three. So this is one, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to chain one and do five double crochets in the space again. So when you get to the top of each row, you'll do your five double crochets, chain one and five double crochets again. So one, two, three, four, five. 
And then when you see the cluster of five double crochets from the previous round, you will break it up. So you'll do, or you'll be left with three. So we're gonna skip three, one, two, three, and we'll be left with two. So two, three. So we're just mirroring what we did on the other side. So now we do three double crochets in that gap. And then we do three double crochets in that gap. And then one double crochet in that end stitch and then we change colors and start the next row. So I've changed color and I've changed two and now I'm just gonna do two double crochets in the first gap. And I'm only doing two because remember this is, a, this chain two counts as a double crochet. So then, um, I'm going to carry on. So now we're coming to the top part of the top where we're going to do our increases. So we're going to skip those two stitches. Oh, excuse the dog's barking. Um, so one. One, two, one, two, three. Then we're gonna skip three stitches and go into that stitch where we did a chain one. And we're gonna do five double crochets. Two, three, four. Three, four, five. And then we're gonna chain one and do five more double crochets. So we've done our clusters of five double crochet, then chain one and five double crochet again. So then we're gonna skip three stitches, one, two, three, and then we're gonna do three double crochet And go into the next gap, three double crochet. Three double crochet. And then we're gonna do three double crochet in this stitch. So I changed color and then chained two and then I'm just going to go into the next gap with three double crochet and we're just going to continue this pattern and alternating colors until you have seven rows um, and I will meet you back once I've done seven rows but this size is to fit me. You can totally alter your size, bigger or smaller, to fit you. Um, so, yeah. So, we've done seven rows of 
this pattern and then I'm gonna do one more row but of this white or neutral color so I did a done my slip knot I'm gonna pull it through the stitch and then I'm gonna chain two and go into that first stitch with three well two double crochets We're basically doing the same thing that we have, but uh, what well, well, we have been doing, but different color. So, but we will be doing something different when we get to the top of the row. So I'll meet you there. So we're at the top kind of, so we're just gonna carry on. Well, so skip two and do three double crochets. Then you've got your one, one, two, three. And in that gap, we're doing three double crochets now instead of five. So one. Three, and then we're gonna chain one and do three double crochet again. And then we're gonna skip three stitches, one, two, three. One, two, three. And then go down to the other side of the top and I'll meet you there. And then we're just going to do that end stitch with one double crochet. And then I'm gonna cut the yarn and then we finish our cup. And then you'll need to make another one just like that. So I've got the first few rows lined up. So I'm going five squares across and we're gonna be doing seven rows up. So I'm gonna start with this square and then we're gonna use the white color that we have set aside. So we're gonna start with a slip knot and then we're gonna go into the corner we're gonna chain two one two and this counts as one double crochet so then we're gonna do two more double crochets then I'm gonna chain two and go into the gap with a single crochet then I'm going to chain two and go into the gap with a single crochet chain two go into the gap with a single crochet two and then now it's a corner we're going to do three double crochets chain two and do three double crochets again so we're gonna do this until we get down there to that side. So in the gaps, you do single crochet and then you chain two. And in the corners, 
you do three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, and then, yeah, and I'll meet you over there. Okay, so now we've only gone around the square, like, just like that. Yes, I know it looks funny, but um, you'll see it will all come together by the end, and we'll get back to this part. So now we're going to crochet this square to that square. So we're going to chain two. One, two. And then do three double crochet. One. Two. Three. And then I'm going to go into that gap with a slip stitch. Then I'm going to chain two. One, two. And go into the stitch, the gap with a single crochet then you see the single crochet on the other square I'm just gonna go into that and join with a slip stitch then I'm gonna chain two and go in the gap with a single crochet and then join just slip stitch into that other the single crochet then chain two, do a single crochet in the gap. So do a slip stitch into the single crochet, chain two, and then I'm just going to do a slip stitch again, but in the gap next to that single crochet. And then I'm going to do three double crochets. Two, three, and then I'm going to chain two and do three double crochets again. Three, but you'll notice that I haven't sewn or crocheted the corners together, but you'll see why when we start the next row. So I'm going to chain two and then single crochet in the stitch. So we're going to go down to that side. So I've come to the end of that square so I'm going to chain two and I can join the next square so I'm going to just we're going to go into the stitch with three double crochet one two three can join with a slip stitch we chain two then do a single crochet in the gap and then go into the single crochet with a slip stitch chain two we do a single crochet in that gap and we join the squares by going into the slip the single crochet with a slip stitch, chain two, single crochet, and we do a slip stitch into that single crochet, then chain two, and then we're gonna slip stitch into that gap and then do three double crochets in the corner. Chain two, 
chain two and do three double crochets again. So, for row one, you can see we go up, across, down, and then up, and we don't join the corners. Across, down, up, down, across, up, and then down. And I'm gonna do that with these two squares as well, and I will meet you when I am over here with sewing all the squares together. Okay, so I've done all the squares, and I told you that I was gonna go down to there, but I was mistaken. And um, I'm actually gonna stop here in this corner after three double crochets. Then we're gonna chain two, and we're gonna take this square and do three double crochets in this corner. One, two, three. And I'm just gonna flip my work around so it's easier to work with. And then I'm gonna join with a slip stitch over in that gap. Then I'm gonna chain two and go into that gap with a single crochet. And then um, I'm gonna put a slip stitch in that single crochet and join the squares. So chain two, single crochet, join with a slip stitch, chain two, single crochet, go into the other crochet, join with a slip stitch, chain two, do a slip stitch in that, that gap, chain two, one, two, and then do three double crochet in this gap, or in the corner, one, two, three, And then we're gonna chain one. And you'll see now this is why the corners are loose. So we're gonna ignore this corner, but we're gonna go into that corner with a slip stitch. Okay, so once you have joined this square, you're gonna stop. We're not gonna crochet up this side, but instead we're gonna join a new square. So we're gonna do three double crochets in this corner. One, two, three. Then we're gonna do a slip stitch into that gap. Then I'm gonna chain two and do a single crochet into that gap. And then go into the single crochet on the other square with this and then do a slip knot to join. Chain two. Single crochet, join with slip stitch. Chain two single crochet, slip stitch, chain two, join with the slip stitch, and then do three double crochet, one, two, three. 
And we're just going to do the same thing. So you've done your three double crochets in your corner. Then you chain one and you join to the opposite corner. You ignore this immediate corner, but you join to the opposite corner with a slip stitch. Then we're just going to pick up another square. So we do our three double crochets. In the corner, one, one, two, three, and then do our slip stitch, chain two, go into the first gap with single crochet, But you can see for this second row, we are only working on the bottom of, well, we're only picking up stitches on the bottom row of the squares that we picked up. So I'm going to do this until I get to the side and I'll show you what we're going to do when we get there. So I've chained one and I'm going into the corner with a slip stitch. Now we're going to be joining our last square for the row. Um, we're going to do our three double crochets. I'm going to do a slip stitch I'm going to chain two and then we're going to work up the side of the square because it is um, the outside edge of the dress. Chain one, uh, no, chain two, and then do a single crochet in the gap. We're just going to work into the corner, like a normal corner, chain, do three double crochets, chain two and three double crochets again. Now we're going to work across, down, we're going to join these two and then work back up, across, down, up, and I'll show you as we go. So we're gonna just crochet across and I'll meet you over there. Okay, so now um, we're at this point. So it's time to start working into 
that corner. So we're gonna join it. So we're gonna do we're gonna do our chain two, then our three double crochets. One. Then we're gonna chain one, tag on our little bit, and then I'm gonna stick my needle into that corner, and I'm gonna go under the stitch. You can go over, but I prefer to go under. And then um, pull the stitch through the corner, chain two, and then do three double crochets in the corner. Then we join it with a slip stitch. Chain two, single crochet, and slip stitch. Oh, and what I must mention here, yeah, whichever way you choose to go under or over, you must um, do the same for every time you join. So, yeah. We're coming into the corners. Remember not to join the corners. We leave them unworked because we pick them up when we're joining the squares. I'll meet you when I'm back there again. So we're coming to the corner. So we're going to do our three double crochets. I'm going to chain two, oh no, one. Put my needle in the opposite corner. I go under and then slip stitch. The squares together. So I'm gonna chain. So that's one, two, and then I'm gonna do three double crochets like we would, because we already have our three double crochets from the previous row. We can join with a slip stitch. And then we're going to carry on doing this, working all these squares in until we get to that corner. Um, you'll notice that you've got one side of the dress worked 
and then two sides which haven't been worked in but don't stress it's meant to be like that we'll get to it once we have finished um once we finish um sewing all the squares together but you'll see it'll all work out so i'm in that end corner i'm gonna chain two one two and then we're gonna join a new square so Just gonna flip my work around and I'm gonna slip stitch into and do a single crochet then join with a slip stitch chain two and single crochet and then join with a slip stitch chain two single crochet join with slip stitch chain two and slip stitch into that gap and then we do three double crochets Okay, so you can see now we're just working along the bottom. We're picking up all the bottom stitches for this row. So we're going to chain one and I'm going to join to the opposite square with a slip stitch. Then I'm going to take our next square and I'm gonna do three double crochets in the corner. One. One, two, three. And then just slip stitch. Chain, chain two, so we're going to do this for the rest of this row and then I'll meet you when we get back to this side. So you can see we're in I've done my three double crochets in that last corner. I'm just gonna flip my work around and then I'm gonna go into that end corner with a slip stitch. Then I'm gonna chain two, one, two, and then I'm gonna do three double crochets. We're gonna work up the side of this square because this is the side we work on. We go along the corners, the corners edges, I mean, sorry. Okay, so we're coming to the point where we need to join. So we're going to do our chain two, then um, three double crochets, one, two, three, then I'm going to chain one, take my needle out the stitch. Going to the opposite corner, 
put your needle through the stitch and then slip stitch and then chain two and then we're now going to work three double crochets up the square. One, two, three. Then we're going to join to the other square with a slip stitch. We're going to chain two and do a single crochet and knock out. Then join the slip stitch. Chain two, single crochet, then join with a slip stitch, chain two, single crochet, join with the slip stitch, we're going to chain two. slip stitch into that gap and then we do three double crochets we don't we leave the corners unworked so just like we've been doing in all the previous rows so you can see so you work up cross down then you work you join then you work up and you join up and down we're going to do that until we finish the row but we're going to do this for five rows and i will meet you on when i'm starting the sixth row because um we're going to be changing it a bit so i just need to add this last little half square for row six and i'm gonna join it into the corner over there so we're gonna do three double crochets like we normally would one okay so one one two and then we join with a slip stitch and then chain two and then we do our single crochet and then join with a slip stitch chain two So then I'm just going to do a slip stitch into that single crochet and then we're going to do, oh it's a corner, so we, I'm going to do three double crochets, one, two, three, and I'm going to join with a slip stitch. Then I'm going to chain two and do three double crochets in the corner again. One, two, three. Then I'm going to chain two and now we're going to crochet, well, do our single crochet. In the stitch, chain two, single crochet, chain two, single crochet, chain two, and then single crochet, chain two, and then because this is kind of like a corner, we're going to do our three 
three double crochets. One, two, three. Chain two and do three. Three double crochets again. One, two, three. We're going to chain two. We can do our single crochet, chain two. Then we can do our three double crochets for the corner. Now we're just going to do what we've been doing for all the other rows and crochet down, then join going up and down and up. And then I'll meet you when we're adding to this next row. Okay, so we're just going to do our three double crochets in the corner here. Well, not necessarily corner, but that end gap on the half square. And we're going to chain two and just get another half square. And we're going to join it into that corner, so the half double. So we've done our three double crochets in that end little gap there. Now we're going to take the other half, half square and then we're going to join into that corner. Well, not corner, but that gap there. So... So that's our three double crochets and I'm just turning my work around so I can actually see what I'm doing. just came out a bit um, so I'm just fixing it and then I um, will then we do our slip stitch I've got my three double crochets and then um, we're gonna do our slip stitch then chain two we can do our single crochet in that gap and join with a slip stitch chain two join with a slip stitch and then we can do the double crochets so do three, one, two, two, three, chain one, and join to the opposite square with a slip stitch. Then we're just gonna do the same, add all the squares like we've been doing in the previous rounds. And then I'll meet you back here so we can crochet along to this side. So I'm just joining the last square for this row. And because it's on the side that has that we've worked that we've worked along this side, we're gonna join. With a slip stitch chain two and then just do another group of three double crochets and we're just going to work along um 
up the square like we have been doing for all these rows. Okay, so um, I'm crocheting up this row and I'm joining it along, but because we are at the last row, I'm gonna do three double crochets. One, two, three. And then I'm gonna go into that gap there and join with a slip stitch. Then I'm gonna chain two and carry on with the three double crochets. And then, um, but here's the thing, on the other rows, we were leaving this loose, but because on the last, we on the last row, we just, we're joining it. So you'll be doing this for the rest of joining all the squares together instead of leaving them loose, the edges loose, we're gonna join them with a slip stitch. So, and I'll meet you over there. Okay, so I've joined all the squares together and now um, we're gonna work the two sides of the dress that have been left unworked. So we're gonna crochet it down this side and then along the edge of the dress, well, bottom of the dress till there. So I'll just show you what we're going to do. So you've done your three double crochets and I'm going to chain two like we would because it's a normal corner. So we've done our three double crochets then we chain two. Then we do our single crochet in that gap. Chain two, single crochet in that gap. Chain two, single crochet in that gap. Chain two. We can do our three double crochets now. One, two, three. Then chain two and then um, join with a slip stitch into the gap. Then chain two again and do three double crochets because we are making that corner now. There are, there's already three double crochets. So we do our three double crochets. Actually, I'm not gonna chain two because we've already chained two over there. We're just gonna go straight into doing uh, three double crochets. One, two, So I'm only doing three double crochet in this corner and then I'm just gonna slip stitch it to that gap and then I'll single crochet in the stitches of the three double crochet and then I'll get to that last double crochet and then I'm gonna chain two and then I'm gonna do our three double crochet chain two
Um, now I'll show you what we do for these corners. So we're going to do our three double crochet. One, two, three. Chain one. And then you see this gap here will be chain two. I'm just going to join with a slip stitch, then chain one, and then three double crochets in the corner. And then we're just going to work down the edges and I'll meet you over there. So I thought I should just show you how to do the corner one more time. So we got our three double crochet, chain one, join with the slip knot into that chain two, chain one, three double crochet again. So we come to the end of this corner here. So we're just gonna make a normal corner. One, two, three, chain two, and do a three double crochet again. And then we're just gonna carry on working the side of the square like we normally do or like normal and then um when you get to the corners you'll just do what we were previously doing so i'll just show you once more in case you get confused Chain one, slip stitch into that gap. Chain one and do three double crochets again. One, two, three. And then we're just gonna carry on till we get over here. So we're coming to the end corner here. So we're just going to do our three double crochets. Two, three. Then I'm going to chain two. And then I'm going to join with a slip stitch. And then we can cut the string off and then okay so you can see um the difference between the front side and the back side of each panel so you'll end up sewing the two panels together along that side and then you'll just flip it over and then crochet along this side and then i'll meet you when i'm sewing them together so i've just threaded the sewing needle and now i'm going to sew the two sides together so both the wrong side facing inwards and i'm going to start from the bottom of the dress and I'm not going to sew um, these two squares together. I'm just going to leave it open. So I'm just going to start like this. Oh, and I'm not. I'm going to just leave some string here. Just cut it off. And then... And I'm going to do a little knot. Then 
I'm gonna I'm not gonna sew every stitch together so I'm gonna weave it through and then um I'll do I'll join it there kind of like we did when we were joining the squares together so I won't join them in these stitches here I'll join them in that slip well in the single crochets so Now because the string's on this side, I'll weave it through these stitches and then go through that, that single crochet and join it there. And then I'm just going to join there. And then I'm going to weave this one through. And I'm going to put it through to the opposite square. So I'll just go through it one more time. Then I'll hop over to the next square and join to the opposite square. And I'll just do that one more time through that square so then I'm gonna weave it through then I'm gonna go into that gap there So we're just gonna carry on doing this until we get to the top. Okay, so now we're at the part where we've made the smallest, like the half square. So how I think I'm gonna go about this is I'm gonna go into the square right next to the square. So then, I'm going to, okay, then I'm going to go, okay, I'm, I'm going to go through this square again, then into that square. Even though this is, like, looks a bit awkward, but then I'm going to kind of weave my needle to the middle. It's knotted. Okay, so it's, here's the stitch here, and I'm gonna go into that opposite stitch. There. And 
I'm just going to do that one more time. And I'm just going to join these two together as well. It's a little bit messy, but we move. So then I'm just going to go into that stitch. actually going to do these three together so it doesn't look that messy okay then I'm just gonna weave together and then we'll do the same for what we've done previously in these squares because they match it's just different because these guys are different sizes so yeah okay so I'm just doing these corners now so I'm just gonna weave through then Go into the opposite corner. Then go into the corner next to this corner and then go to the opposite corner again. Oh, I don't know if that makes any sense at all, but I hope you understand what I'm talking about. Um, and then we just sew up and then we finished. So we're finishing off here and I'm just going to go into the top stitches and then join it well we can join the top stitches on the square and then we finished okay so this is how i'm gonna end it so i'm gonna make this like loop and stick the needle through wait maybe maybe let me get the loop to get smaller so you can see so made the loop and I'm just going to stick my needle through the loop and then tighten it and then I'm going to cut the string off and then um, we can just weave in the string. So once you finish this side, we can move on to the other side and I'll meet you once we've sewn this all together. Okay, so this is what the dress should look like once you've sewn the two panels together. And then we're just gonna, I'll show you where I'm gonna place the cups. Okay, so we got our two cups and I'm gonna sew it along this. I'm gonna use this as a halfway indicator and I'm gonna just sew the cups to this front portion of the dress. So I'll meet you once I've done that and then we make the straps afterwards. So I've sewn on um, the cups, as you can see. And now we're gonna start with the straps. So I'm gonna start with a slip stitch. And um, 
I'm going to work in these three stitches. So there's two on that side. Actually, maybe I'll work in that chain one too. So I'll show you here. So that's one, two, going to that third stitch. And I will bring the slip stitch through the stitch, yarn over and make like one chain. Then I'm going to go into that gap with a single crochet and then the stitch afterwards. So we're working with the top three stitches. So there's going to be two stitches on either side of the work we work like I don't know how to explain it, but there's going to be two stitches left on either side. So now I'm going to chain two, turn my work around, and I'm going to do three double crochets, uh, well two, because that chain two counts as a double crochet. Then we're going to chain two, flip your work around, and then do one two double crochets we've done 37 rows of this for the strap and now we're just gonna get the scissors cut the yarn off Pull the yarn through the stitch, tug on it, and then weave in the yarn. And then we're just going to do this for the other side. Um, do 37 rows of what we've just done. And I'll meet you once it's finished. So um, I finished both the straps. And... Um, you can either choose to bring the straps over and then attach them through one of these bits, like just pull it through and knot it and you can adjust it. You can adjust the straps and like just tie a knot like that, like that, or you could, um, Have it uh, like a tie neck where you don't attach it to the back. You can just tie it around your neck. But that's why I'm not joining them to the back. So you can choose whether you want it around the neck or attached to the back. So here's just a few videos showing you how what the dress fits. Um, here's what it looks like with the straps to the back. And then this is what it looks like when it's tied around the neck um both super flattering and I love this dress oh my gosh and thanks for watching